This section is a big plate that goes on top. It's uh, top of the fuselage. Uh, done a dry fit, seems okay. Remember, in areas like this, to paint your colour required because not that you will, but if you do look up through, you can see the roof. And same as this piece, when it sits on the uh, cockpit area, you can see the roof. I've just painted the back past where I needed to, to make sure. And same in this one, because it's part of the cockpit ceiling. So you need to paint back there. And we got our instrument panels, overhead instrument panels in there, uh, decal, and I painted in the knobs on the handles. So we're getting to the stage now of this is going to go together, fingers crossed. Uh, we're getting into the awkward territory of attached the uh, cockpit to the fuselage and I'm trying to get this top piece on and all the meat up and it's not easy let me say uh, I've started on this side because it's fitting better um, again though I've had to I've run some super glue in areas and just squeeze it in till it bites and I'll put the tape on there and I'm gonna have to go out with glue but then we're left again with a seam line like the rear head and you get, you're gonna have to take care of it as simple as that so it's gonna be awkward again because we're probably gonna start losing some rivet details again so that's unfortunate but this is how the kit's engineered so it's uh being difficult to be honest so probably guessed it would be it's such a big uh, awkward model that um it's just not only is it hard to handle but trying to grip things and hold them in spots when it's not fitting well makes uh, life difficult but fortunately, the top plate fits well with the, the uh, clear section, so that's something. And so beginneth the cleaning up of this awkward area. So I've used Tamiya white putty. This is how I apply it with a toothpick. Because... This putty is really hard and you only want it where you need it because it's uh, sanding it back. I'm trying not to take out too much rivet detail. So I've done this section, cleaned it up, shot some primer over it. Looks good. I've just lost a few rivets along around the, the curve section. So I'll do this section. I've put a piece of tape here, just trying to limit my uh, damage to rivets. I'm not going to do that side yet. This here, this one, is perfect plastic putty, so that's water soluble. That's the join from the cockpit to the fuselage. There was gaps uh, as to how I'm doing this is just just a sponge sanding sponge and just rubbing it along and then finer grades being sponge it'll curve to the surface so hopefully I can get through this without doing taking out too much detail okay I'm getting there cleaning it up Replacing some rivets, unfortunately, the uh, smallest rivet punch I have is bigger than the rivets, but um, what what do you do? Like, I've lost rivet detail. If you don't 
replace it it'll stand out like a sore thumb uh, these ones you can if you look in that general area you'll see that they're bigger than the uh, ones that should be there or the other option is uh, using a riveting wheel or a needle or something putting rivets in that are recessed which will also look funny so I figure this is better than nothing uh, yeah so that's what I've come up with okay now we're moving on to adding all the parts onto the exterior the fuselage uh, so we got some oh, let me hold this so we got some uh, cabling along here so that's one part uh, these pieces on external they didn't fit well I had to trim one of the locating tabs off on the top uh, left because they, they were too wide for the slots in the molded into the fuselage this is all we got pipes uh, you have to put these in order so you got to start at the bottom there's a smaller one underneath then you start at the bottom and work your way up because they overlap there's uh, locating holes for these sections and yeah you have to start at the bottom one on top, one on top, otherwise they won't fit. And then I've started with these uh, piping on the uh, gear, struts, legs, sections, whatever you want to call it. So that's, and there's a few other bits and bobs going on. There's heaps to go on. Obviously, this, this model is all about the exterior, the amount of parts. Uh, also all these pieces like these and these they got heaps of sprue gates on them heaps so be careful when you're trimming them and uh, cleaning up that you don't snap them uh, here and there I've been starting on the the road ahead uh, it's a lot of and this is the start of one of the uh, engines. There's a whole heap of these parts, a halves sandwiched together. So there's a whole heap of cleanup. So it's um, very time consuming. And some of them are like these tiny parts here. They're, they're halves as well. So it's uh, a lot of gluing, cleaning up, etc., etc. So. We're getting progress though.